Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Suit and Tie Guy. I'm going to talk to you about a couple of modules we got here. I'm kind of going to be coming to a system near you pretty soon. Um, the first one is the digital attenuators, which is that that thing right there, that thing that looks nuts. Um, you can think of it. I, it's called the digital attenuators because um, it doesn't. It's not like VCA's amplify. Um, this only attenuates, so the most you get out of it is unity. It's um, it's actually a, a this it's a it's an attenuator using a digital potentiometers under microprocessor control. So it does have an all analog signal path. It's very clean, um, but there is a digital aspect to it on the control side. This module is a collaboration between uh, WM devices or WMD, um, which is, I'm not talking about the drugs from the wire. I'm talking about the guy that makes crazy synthesizer modules and guitar pedals, um, and myself. And um, so he's selling it in Eurorack. It's called the Digital VCA. I'm selling it in Moog Formula. It's called the Digital Attenuators. Now, that right there, we're not using that today. Those are analog VCAs, but it is purple, which means it's neat. And then the other module I'm going to show you is uh, this is uh, it's the uh, SHN. I'm going to be using it for pink noise. It's in focus there, kind of. Okay, this is the new version. It's only two inches deep. It's SMT and stuff, and runs fine on 15 or 12 volts. Does not care. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and hit. Uh, start on um i'm using um by the way to you people that want to complain about my focus on this you know i don't really care you say whatever you want i i don't have a choice it's just what i got to use okay so i've started the sequence it's an eight step sequence in um c minor and um so the first thing i'm going to do is uh See, I'm using three channels in this VCA. And um, they are, um, they're gonna be a pluck, sub bass, and noise. And uh, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna turn up the uh, envelope amount on the filter. The filter is an MOTM 490, it's being fed from um, an STG Sound Labs mixer, which has two um, sawtooth waves going into it. Okay, so now, yeah, there's some effects on this, whatever. There's no effects on the sub bass, so I just, I like hearing dotted eighth delays. Now, you might be noticing that, like, the pluck is extra plucky. That's because I'm using the crazy technique of actually summing two envelope generators. This, these two are both going into the filter. This is a very fast pluck, and this is a not-so-fast pluck. And then I sum them, and then bring them into the filter. That's a technique that they used to use in the old Moog modulars. Uh, to get more of a plucky sound. Anyway, um, so now the next voice is a sub bass, which is under control. The Archangel, I'm actually using the, I'm using rows C and D um, on the sequential switch output. Okay, so, um, and I've got that on um, this knob here. So I'm going to bring the knob up. I'm going to bring the knob up so you can hear it. No click. Usually I've, I have to feed uh, a sub bass line like this through a filter to remove clicks uh, when I use this technique. but. So I'm just using those voltage. I got stage one, uh, four, 
6 and 7 on row C and uh, 1, 5, 7, and 8. Now I'm going to bring in the other voice. And that is a uh, white noise using um, that trigger sequencer there and uh, that envelope generator there. I'm using the um, white noise or the pink noise off the SHN, which is going into the um, the state variable filter right there. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring it up. <laughs> so there's a voltage sequence right there that's gonna be changing the timbre of this thing. So I'm gonna bring that in now. Yeah, I'm going to be bringing it in now. hear the sub bass by itself. So that's the sub bass. That's just a sine wave from um, a dot com VCO going into the um, do, uh, sub, uh, the sub octave is just the yeah, sine wave from the dot com VCO going into the digital attenuators. Now I'm not using any of the fancy features of this module. There's all sorts of crazy, there's a side, these are side chain inputs <laughs> for the zero crossing detector. That's why there's no click is that there's a zero crossing detector on the control side. So it doesn't, it, it doesn't change the amplitude except at zero crossing. So that's how it avoids getting any clicks in the audio. So let's bring that, uh, that percussion back in. I'm going to bring this down a minor third. I'm going to use this in a track soon, so don't go copying it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure someone's already used this pattern anyway. Done a, it's been done a million times. By the way, the way I was doing that is uh, I have this keyboard here for transposing. That's why you should always have a keyboard on your module. So, yeah, anyway, so that's it. That's the stuff. I hope you like that. Thanks for listening. <laughs>